Terminator 2, Judgment Day is a 1991 American science fiction action film directed by James Cameron, who co-wrote the script with William Wisher. The film is the sequel to The Terminator, 1984, and is the second installment in the Terminator franchise. In the film, the malevolent artificial intelligence Skynet sends a Terminator, a highly advanced killing machine, back in time to 1995 to kill the future leader of the human resistance John Connor, when he is a child. The resistance sends back a less advanced, reprogrammed Terminator to protect Connor and ensure the future of humanity. Plot In 2029, Earth has been ravaged by the war between the malevolent artificial intelligence Skynet and the human resistance. Skynet sends the T-1000 played by Robert Patrick, an advanced, prototype, shapeshifting terminator made of virtually indestructible liquid metal, back in time to kill resistance leader John Connor, played by Edward Furlong, when he is a child. To protect Connor, the Resistance sends back a reprogrammed T-800 Terminator, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, a less advanced metal endoskeleton covered in synthetic flesh. In 1995 Los Angeles, John's mother Sarah, played by Linda Hamilton, is incarcerated in Pescadero State Hospital for her violent efforts to prevent Judgment Day, the prophesied events of August 29, 1997 when Skynet will gain sentience and, in response to its creator's attempts to deactivate it, incite a nuclear holocaust. John, living with foster parents, considers Sarah delusional and resents her efforts to prepare him for his future role. The T-1000 locates John in a shopping mall, but the T-800 intervenes, coming to John's aid and enabling his escape. John calls to warn his foster parents, but the T-800 deduces the T-1000 has already killed them. Realizing the T-800 is programmed to obey him, John forbids it from killing people and orders it to save Sarah from the T-1000. The T-800 and John intercepts Sarah during an escape attempt, but Sarah flees in horror because the T-800 resembles the Terminator sent to kill her in 1984. John and the T-800 persuade her to join them, and they escape the pursuing T-1000. Although distrustful of the T-800, Sarah uses its knowledge of the future to learn that a revolutionary microprocessor, being developed by Cyberdyne engineer Miles Dyson, played by Joe Morton, will be crucial to Skynet's creation. Over the course of their journey, Sarah sees the T-800 serving as a friend and father figure to John, who teaches it catchphrases and hand signs while encouraging it to become more human-like. Sarah plans to escape to Mexico with John, but a nightmare about Judgment Day convinces her to kill Dyson. She attacks Dyson in his home, but realizes she cannot kill a person and relents. John arrives and reconciles with Sarah while the T-800 convinces Dyson of the future consequences of his work. Dyson reveals his research has been reverse-engineered from the CPU and severed arm of the 1984 Terminator. Believing his work must be destroyed, Dyson aids Sarah, John, and the T-800 to break into Cyberdyne, retrieve the CPU and the arm, and set explosives to destroy the lab. The police assault the building and fatally shoot Dyson, but he detonates the explosives as he dies. The T-1000 pursues the surviving trio, cornering them in a steel mill. Sarah and John split up to escape, while the T-1000 mangles the T-800 and briefly deactivates it by destroying its power source. The T-1000 assumes Sarah's appearance to lure out John, but Sarah intervenes and, along with the reactivated T-800, pushes it into a vat of molten steel, where it disintegrates. The T-800 explains it must also be destroyed to prevent it from serving as a foundation for Skynet. Despite John's tearful protests, the T-800 persuades him its destruction is the only way to protect their future. Sarah shakes the T-800's hand and, 
having come to respect it, lowers it into the vat. The T-800 gives John a thumbs up as it is incinerated. As Sarah drives down a highway with John, she reflects on her renewed hope for an unknown future, musing if the T-800 could learn the value of life, so can humanity. About the film. Terminator 2, Judgment Day is directed by James Cameron, who co-wrote the script with William Wisher. The film is the sequel to The Terminator 1984, which is also directed by James Cameron. The casting of Terminator 2 includes Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Edward Furlong, and Robert Patrick. Terminator 2, Judgment Day was filmed in various locations, including Los Angeles and the Mojave Desert. The film's groundbreaking visual effects were created by Industrial Light and Magic, ILM, and Digital Domain, revolutionizing the industry with its use of computer-generated imagery. The film's score was composed by Brad Fiedel, who also scored the first Terminator film. The soundtrack features iconic tracks, including the main theme You Could Be Mine by Guns N' Roses. Terminator 2, Judgment Day was released on July 3, 1991. The film had a substantial budget, estimated to be around $94 to $102 million. It achieved significant commercial success, grossing over $520 million worldwide. Critically acclaimed, Terminator 2, Judgment Day received widespread praise for its storytelling, visual effects, action sequences, and performances. It is often regarded as one of the greatest action films of all time. The film received four Academy Awards and six Saturn Awards, recognizing its excellence in various categories. The film's success solidified the Terminator franchise's status in popular culture. It inspired numerous video games, comic books, and other media adaptations. The character of the T-800, portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger, became iconic. Terminator 2, Judgment Day led to several sequels, including Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, 2003, Terminator Salvation, 2009, Terminator Genesis, 2015, and Terminator, Dark Fate, 2019. The franchise also includes a television series, Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, 2008-2009. 10 Interesting Facts About Terminator 2 Judgment Day Movie 1. Terminator 2 was a pioneer in CGI effects, notably during the T-1000's shapeshifting scenes, setting a new standard for visual effects in movies. 2. Robert Patrick undertook a rigorous running regime and practiced breathing only through his nose, in order to appear to be a cyborg that could run at high speeds without showing fatigue. He had trained so hard that he was able to catch up to Edward Furlong on his dirt bike with ease. 3. Linda Hamilton's twin sister, Leslie Hamilton Guerin, was used as a double in scenes involving two Sarah Connors. 4. An alternate ending was filmed, which showed an elderly Sarah sitting at the park, telling the story about the Terminator, watching John playing with his daughter, and tying her granddaughter's shoes. 5. Denzel Washington turned down the role of Miles Bennett Dyson. 6. It's never explained how the T-1000 was able to go through the time portal even though it has no living flesh. In the original script, it was explained that the T-1000 traveled inside a flesh sack, which it would shed immediately upon arrival. 7. The SWAT team in the movie is made up of real SWAT members. 8. The effect of the T-1000 freezing and breaking up was achieved by filming shots of an amputee fitted with prosthetic, and of Robert Patrick with his real limbs buried underneath the set. Clever editing makes the effect appear almost seamless. 9. Linda Hamilton learned to pick locks for the scene in the mental hospital where she does precisely that with a paperclip. 10. Michael Bean was the first choice for the role of the T-1000 in a complete reversal of roles with Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was now a hero. However, this idea was abandoned as it was judged too confusing for viewers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.